First on Fox tonight, one woman is dead, two other people badly hurt after a driver plowed into them in southeast Portland, then took off. It happened at Southeast Powell and 148th, just near Powell Butte Nature Park. And that situation closed roads for hours. Then the search for that suspect ended about a mile away. Police took him into custody after he was found hiding in someone's swimming pool. Fox 12's Brenna Kelly has been following all these developing details all night long. Brenna, what can you tell us? Well, Wayne and Liz, it was an active search all over this neighborhood as police looked for the driver who crashed here at this intersection. The man whose home the suspect ended up at tells me he picked the wrong hiding spot. A major road closure and several wrecked cars. It was very fast and it's hard to really recall all the details. Police surrounded the intersection of Southeast Powell and 148th after fire officials say a hit and run crash killed a woman and sent two other people to the hospital. What the majority of what I saw was the black SUV that's right in front of mine um, and then other cars that were kind of spinning out. Amy Reichert was driving to the dog park when she saw the crash. She says she jumped out of her car and ran to help two people inside another car that was hit. One of those victims, the woman who died. I was just there and I was had my hand on the woman's back um, just trying to say words. Um, letting her know help was on the way. Meanwhile, police say the suspect had taken off and officers were starting to comb through neighborhoods. I told them, I said, they've got a lot of hiding spots, you know, back here, you might want to check. Dale Heasley says when he got home this afternoon, police warned him about the suspect they were searching for and told him to go inside. But next thing Heasley knows, he's face to face with the suspect at his back door. All of a sudden, there he is. You know, please let me in and just looks like, bye. Heasley said he went straight to the front of his house and told officers. And when he went to his back window, he says he saw something moving. And then everything's going bobbing up and down. I said, Man, he's in my swimming pool. Air 12 was over the scene and captured the moment police took the man into custody. Had guns drawn, tasers and dogs, and he come rolling out over the edge of the pool and he didn't put up any fight. They put the handcuffs on him and away he went. Investigators confirmed the suspect who's involved with the deadly hit and run was taken into custody, and we believe this man is that suspect. Unbelievable. Not what I expected when I came home, I'll tell you that. Uh, he, at least he got to cool off where he went to jail. And we are still waiting to learn who that suspect is. We're told by police he will be identified after he's booked into jail. As far as those victims go, at last check, one of the two injured is still in critical condition. And we also don't know the identity of the woman who died. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12, Oregon.